I'm home! Ah! A giant! A giant! No, Daddy, it's me! My goodness! Holly! What happened to you? I magicked myself big and I want to stay big forever! Ah! Watch where you put those big feet! Holly, you almost stepped on Nanny! Oops! Sorry, Nanny! Holly, are you really sure you want to stay big forever? Yes. It's almost bedtime. How are you going to fit in your little bed? I know, Mummy. I'll sleep outside. OK, but you'll need to keep warm. How about I magic you up a giant sleeping bag? Yes, please, Nanny. Oh, lovely. I'll sleep out here under the stars. Good night, Holly. Good night. Ah, this is cosy. I hope Ben has found somewhere nice to sleep as well. Calling all elves. Stop making toys. We need a giant sleeping bag. Right <laughs> this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! Wow, a giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. When you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I'm here. The spell must have worn off. How was your lesson today, Nanny? Really good. I got a couple of things wrong at the start, but I got better and better all day. That's great. I'm all ready for my test tomorrow. Ask me any question you like. OK. How do you stop a mole from digging up your lawn? Turn them into a frog. Uh, no. That's not the answer in the book. Are you sure? Maybe you're reading it wrong. I don't think so. Oh, I find the answer to most things is turn them into a frog. Nanny, don't keep saying turn them into a frog. That will never be the answer. Oh, all right. I'll try and remember that. Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Right you are, Mrs Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. <laughs> there. Mm-hmm. Now forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. <laughs> Slowly. Ah, what's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! Stop! Don't worry. She won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know. You could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow. Could I? Of course. There's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mama 
and Tat. See you in the morning. <laughs> mm. Talking rabbits, elves, fairies, shrunken daughter. Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right, then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Ben, tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! <laughs> Ben found my wand. That's very nice, but you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat, Magic Ben, a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh, no. The magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobadu. Ah, oh, it's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. I love this storybook. No, Gaston, it's not for eating. Rockabye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear, this one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. 
One was made of straw, one was made of sticks, and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean, ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. <coughs> oh! Oh! What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh. 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 Well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the wheelbarrow race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No, you've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Uh, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, uh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks. Get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me! What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. It's looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Maybe Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a castle, Lucy. Come and see. Wow, a real fairy castle. <laughs> it's okay, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy, home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look, it says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of, um, fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. 
Magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go, go, go! There. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy, who were you talking to? I met... Daisy, Poppy. That wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry. Our magic has back to normal size. I just need my wand. <coughs> my wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum. Eh? We're here. So tiny. Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby dolly! Dolly. Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari, um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Yes, Nanny Plum. Fascinating, Mistress Plum. But if we might return to nature class for a... Yes, children. What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that... That brings today's nature class to a close. close. That was the bestest ever nature class. Thank you, Strawberry. It was excellently cool. Thank you, Barnaby. So, from now on, Nanny Plum and the wise old elf always teach us nature class together. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, if you insist. Hooray! <laughs> oh, if you tell me what you want to cook, I will tell you how to cook it. We want to cook a special modern meal, please. 
How modern? Uh, very modern. Certainly. You will need the following ingredients. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. Oh. I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chopped potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying and I'm a fairy. <laughs> Okay, baby birds, just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping, like this. <laughs> They're copying you, Ben. Now flap faster. Now jump. They're flying. Clever, Ben. You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. Bye-bye, <laughs> birds. There they go. Goodbye, little ones. Oh, don't say you miss them now. No. Just got something in my eye. Have the chicks hatched yet? I want to tick them off in my book. They've flown away, Daddy. I taught them how to fly. Oh, baby woodpecker chicks are a once in a lifetime sight for a bird spotter. But you missed them. It's not fair. Now I'm not going to spot anything good. <whistles> Hello? King Thistle, we've got a strange nest in the castle. A nest? I'll be there straight away. Nanny, where's the nest? It's in the middle of my kitchen. It's a... Don't tell me, Nanny. I want to be the one to spot it. <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. <laughs> plant the flag. Done. Three, Go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. 
It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> bleep, bleep. Ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien. Amazing. This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever. Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> No! Don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look! Up and down. Aren't you supposed to be gentle with your wands? It's OK. Wands are very strong. You don't want to break them. Don't be silly. They never break. Show him, Holly. Hit your wand on that rock. OK. <gasps> oh dear. Holly, strawberry. How's wand practice going? Uh, not very well. Holly's broken her wand. How did that happen? I was waving it very gently and she bashed it on a rock. That wasn't very clever. Sorry, Nanny. Not to worry. We'll just get it mended. Are you going to mend it with magic, Nanny? Oh, no. I can't mend it. Why not? Wands make magic, but magic can't make wands. It's like chickens and eggs. Chickens make eggs, but eggs don't make chickens. But eggs do make chickens. Whatever. The important thing is, I can't mend wands by magic. So, who can mend it? The elves that made it. Elves? Do elves make wands? Of course they do. Everyone knows that. Elves are very good at making wands. And we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> to the elf factory. But Nanny, wands are magic. And elves don't do magic. Elves don't use the wands, Holly. They just make them. Good morning. Can I help you? Um, I've broken my wand. She bashed it on a rock. One moment, please. Wise old elf. Wise old elf, please report to reception immediately. Oh, Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it will be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Shush, Gaston. <coughs> OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went er, er, er. Help! Help! Oh, oh no. no! Put us down! You silly robot! Put the girls down! I only answer to my master. Ben Elf. Robot, uh, put the fairies down, please. Yes, Ben Elf. And say sorry. Sorry. That was a bit scary. Hmm, it's not like a normal toy robot. I think my key might have made it a bit magic. But it seems to do what I say, so we should be OK. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. What do you have there? We found a toy robot. It was broken. 
broken, so we mended it. Well done. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Ah, uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon. Be <laughs> <laughs> we'll fish from the stern. Where's that? <sighs> the back of the boat. Come with me. Fishing is a tricky business. You must have the right type of bait. What kind of bait are we using today? Stale bread. Stale bread? Who likes stale bread? Should we put some butter on it, Dad? And jam? Yes. We're not going to catch anything with stale bread, old boy. Stick a bit of jam on it. Stop! I'm the captain. So while we're aboard Bunty, we do what I say. Aye, aye, aye captain. captain! Now be quiet. Fish don't like noise. Very bossy, isn't he? This is so exciting. Shh, everybody. Now we wait. Are you sure this is right? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let me have a go. Fine, you'll see. It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met... Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most gigantic-est fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly! <laughs> wow, it worked! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her. I could do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Whoa! Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty Flop! Stop, stop, stop! What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves? Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. <laughs> this will be the best party ever. What do you think Gaston would like for his birthday present? A squeaky toy. Very good. Now to wrap it. Spot 
Dirty wrapping paper. Brilliant. Hello. I've finished my bath. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Relax, darling. It's nothing to do with you. A likely story. It really isn't, so stop fussing. Uh, fine. Mmm. Can I smell cakes? I thought so. What's going on, Nanny? Are you baking cakes? Yes, I am. These cakes had better not be for me. <laughs> They're not. Now, Shoe, go on. I haven't got time to talk to you. I suppose it is nice that they want to give me a party so much. <laughs> what shall we do for Gaston's birthday card? Let's draw a picture of Gaston. Good idea. Hello, Holly. Hello, Daddy. We're making a birthday card. I don't suppose it's for me, is it? No. No, of course not. Ha! I don't think my face is that red. And I don't have black spots. I told you, Daddy. It's not for you. <laughs> oh, yes. So you did. Ben! Hello, Dad. Do you want to help deliver the party invitations? Yes, please. Off we go. Oh, they're delivering invitations for my party. How sweet. Special delivery. Invitations to Gaston's birthday. Gaston's party is tomorrow at the Frog Pond. Are you all coming? Yes. yes. Of course we are. Where next? We mustn't forget Gaston. It is his party. There you go, Gaston. An invitation to your very own birthday. <laughs> Gaston loves eating letters. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will groom speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Lappin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> Let's tell everyone to get baking. Daddy! Daddy! An apple fell on Mrs Fig's magic school. And now the school has a big hole in it. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Mrs Fig is asking everybody to bake cakes to raise money. Bake cakes? Uh, well, don't tell your mother about that. About what, darling? Mrs Fig is running a cake store. Oh, how exciting. I'll bake some cakes. R really? 
There's no need. Mrs. Fig needs them today. Then I'd better start straight away. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Your mother is not very good at baking cakes. Oh. She bakes horrible cakes and she gets very upset if anyone doesn't like them. dum de dum de dee dee doo That's odd. Who's in my kitchen? <gasps> the Queen baking cake! Yes, Nanny Plum. Would you like to try a cake? Maybe later. Cakes! Cakes! The Queen's baking cakes! I know. We'll have to leave the country. Pack a bag, everyone. The Queen's cakes can't be that bad. They're worse than bad. They're... Cake time. Who wants to try my lovely cakes? Uh, um, 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 uh... I've got rock cakes... Fudge cake and gingerbread. They look lovely. In fact, they look too good to eat. You don't want to eat them, do you? You think they're horrid. No, no, no. I can't wait to try them. Have a rock cake. Ow! Did you just say ow? No, I said oh. Is it nice? It's inedible. I, I mean, incredible. But maybe I'll save it for later. Try the fudge cake. Ah, uh, isn't it someone else's turn? Don't you want my fudge cake? Of course I do. What do you think? <coughs> Tasty? <coughs> Are you all right, Daddy? <coughs> I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Palum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding! What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed, it's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Oof. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Nanny! Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Okay, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. <laughs> oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Ho oh, ho, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more? Oops! Jelly flood! Oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Dry. Umbrella to wand. Achoo! Whoops! It sounds like your wand's got a cold. Achoo! Oh no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. 
I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, oh, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. Mwahaha! <laughs> the whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain ice queen might live in. Uh, like that? Wow! A giant palace of ice! This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast! Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, Elf Boy? Elf Man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. <laughs> Gnomes have a huge appetite. They can't stop themselves eating. If they see food, they eat it. That's right. They eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, and... yes, Mrs Elf. So, does it mean there'll be no fruit harvest and no dancing? Yes. No, because there's always blackberries. They grow in the wild. Mm. Blackberries. But we have to get to the blackberries before the gnome does. How do you stop a gnome from eating everything? Well, they used to say, to scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. Yes, we tried that once. What happened? He ate the orange. Yes, gnomes like all fruit. The only thing they like more than fruit is pie. Here we are. The blackberries are still here. Thank goodness. No time to waste. Begin the harvest, everyone. Right on. Picking blackberries is one of the most dangerous jobs for an elf. Why? Because elves are quite small. And blackberry bushes are covered in big thorns. And the best berries are very high up. Oh, I can't reach it. Let me help. 
That's tasty. Ah, the gnome! Hello. Nice to see you. Well, it's not nice to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Normally, I'm very popular. Are you? Uh, no. Everyone hates me. Well, I'm not surprised. You've eaten our strawberries and our apples, and now you're eating our blackberries too. Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise they were yours. Mmm, <coughs> delicious. Stop it. Stop it. Stop eating everything. <coughs> You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Commander ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. What about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. Don't go so fast, Daddy! What? Go faster! All right! How are you getting on, Your Majesty? Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has a right to start our harvest dance. Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work, but it. I forbid it. Remember, we mustn't be seen by big people. But I've seen you, and so has my dad. But you're nice. It's just other big people we can't trust. Oh, don't worry. I'll go with them and we'll keep well hidden. Hooray! OK, but if you do get seen, pretend to be a toy. Like this. I'm a toy. Yes, yes, whatever. Come on, Lucy. Say goodbye to your, um, little friends. Yes, Daddy! Quick, into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad! <laughs> this is my school. Wow! So many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus. Auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness! I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. Oh no! Gaston smelt the bananas! He likes bananas! Gaston, here boy! Stop! Come back! Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or you could call her a ladybug. 
And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two Hollies? Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning. 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 And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy! Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye! <laughs> They've disappeared! The twins have escaped! <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the wild! Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm! This is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkie! <laughs> Walkies! Trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother. You started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. <laughs> it's Gaston. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get here? <laughs> What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? <laughs> Clever Gaston. But I thought I said no pets. Gaston could be useful, Dad. Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says... Trapped on a desert island, Dad bored, please rescue. Let's go and tell the wise old elf. Tomato! <laughs> that looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job. That's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? 
It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> Run away, kitten. Come back first. So where are the twins? Um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston? Find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Puppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny Rabbit! Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! <laughs> What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we've found my little sisters. <laughs> hop, 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 hop! <laughs> Wow! Look at all those rabbits! That one's wearing my dad's hat! Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity! They've turned all the elves into rabbits! Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! Meow! <laughs> Daisy and Puppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! Yeah.